going on guys i'm going to show you guys how to do a little mod here for free um on your banshee you have your timing plate here it goes behind your stator um, so i'm just start going to start from this point i'm not going to go into like you know how you disassemble and everything so basically we're down to just the bare plate um if you've seen the aftermarket plates that you can buy they have elongated holes on all three corners and the reason that they have that is you put the bolts in there you can loosen it up and you can actually advance or retard your timing actually I think this way would be advancing and this way would be retarding the timing. But um, the whole idea is you have the elongated hole so you can adjust it. So um, a lot of people recommend plus four timing um, for their Banshee. Um, what that's going to do is allow your fuel to burn a little bit more efficiency, efficiently because when you advance the timing, uh, the spark is going to come on sooner and uh, your gas is going to have more time to burn, uh, equaling more power and more fuel consumption. So anyways, let's get into it. Um, it's really not that hard, it's pretty simple actually. Um, what we're gonna be doing is elongating our holes so that we can spin the plate. So I'm gonna do it to advance the timing. So to advance the timing, you'd be turning your plate to the right or clockwise. So the holes are gonna have to be elongated this way. Um, now these holes are sunk in a little bit, so we can't just elongate the holes. We're gonna have to shave down this little uh, shelf. So what we're gonna do, since we're gonna be turning the plate clockwise, we're gonna shave the portion on the left off. Um, how we're gonna do that, uh, you can do it a couple different ways. You can do it with a file if you really had to. Um, if you set it up in a jig or something and you kind of take your file across here, you know, you can take that, shave that down. I'm gonna use a, uh, a sander, a rotary sander. Um, I should be able to take that down really quickly on uh, both of these. This one over here is going to be a little bit more difficult because we won't be able to get the sander in there. So we'll probably use a Dremel for that uh, with a small sanding wheel or something. Um, I'll see which, which way is the easiest for me. And then once we have those parts um, sanded down, we'll elongate our holes. And we'll either do that with a Dremel, um, a drill, or uh, a file. But most likely we'll go with the Dremel. So let's get started here and let's knock down these shelves. walls knocked down here here those ones are super easy and then this one we took care of with the Dremel should give us enough clearance to get about four degrees of timing so how we're gonna do that is about every millimeter that we move over the hole or elongate the hole it's gonna give us about a degree of timing so what we'll do is we'll measure four millimeters where I'll measure something that's four millimeters and then use that as a reference. I might um, might use a bolt or something, something round. And then I'll trace it and then we'll bore it out with the Dremel and that'll be it. Easy.
Okay guys, so here is the with the uh, the plate in your motor. Uh, what we're going to do so that we can kind of gauge how much timing we're advancing. Um, right here on this tab, we're going to mark notches. So the first one stock would be this little uh, shelf lining up with the top of this um, piece of your case. So what we're going to do is take a ruler and we're just going to make hashes for four millimeters and each millimeter will change the timing about a degree so we'll do that now and then that way you can actually gauge just how much timing you're adding to your uh There you can see guys, I have my marks on there. So right there. Right there. Come on. Is stock. You can see the bolt hole is lined up with the uh, original hole. And focus here. You can see it's lined up with this top piece and as you turn it you have one, two, come on, oops, we well, got three and then right there is about four. Just like that. So now I wouldn't recommend going past that. Um, depending on your mods, but uh, that's about it guys, pretty simple, straightforward. As I have it all mounted up, and you can see how easy it is to use those little reference marks that I put on there. They line up perfectly there on the case. So that's it guys, if you have any comments or questions, you know, please post below. Uh, if you found this helpful, if you want to try it out, let me know how it goes. Um, and if you guys have uh, any other kind of videos that you'd like to see, you know, put it in the comments below. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.